Follow me. Look at this meme. A what? I ain't never seen two pretty best friends. It's always one of them gotta be ugly. How do you know this guy? I don't know him. Then how did he get on your phone? It popped up when I was scrolling on the For You page on TikTok. Huh? I don't get it. <sighs> Forget it. Ouch. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. It's time to get up for school. Okay, I'll be out in five minutes. You better be. Do you have any homework tonight? Yeah, but I'm gonna do it later because it'll only take a couple of minutes. Mom, do we have any art supplies? No, why? I need them to finish my homework. What? Why didn't you tell me this earlier? Because I didn't need them earlier. Yeah, well you need them now, don't you? No, I was making the whole thing up. Oh, were you actually? No, now can you please just go and get me some art supplies? I would've if you would've told me this earlier when I asked if you had any homework. Why? What's the difference? Oh, let me see. Maybe because it's 11 o'clock at night and all the stores are closed? Here's the dumbest things bought by billionaires. Saudi Prince Amir bought a Mercedes covered in 300,000 diamonds. It took 13 experts two weeks to attach them and it cost 4.8 million dollars. Data Fugue bought a shirt made entirely out of gold. It has over 14,000 pieces of 22 karat gold weighing 7 pounds. And it cost him $250,000. Finally, Kanye West spent just under a million dollars on four gold-plated toilets for his mansion. Honey, what do you want out for supper today? Can you cook some chicken and rice? Um... It looks like we're out of rice. Uh, what about spaghetti and hamburger? We don't have spaghetti either. We don't have much. I gotta go grocery shopping tomorrow. Ah, uh, what do we eat? What do we eat? What do we eat? Oh, right here it says on Tuesdays that kids eat for free at Pizza Hut. Oh, really? Let's go there. Hey, Luke! Get ready! We're going to Pizza Hut, baby! <gasps> I gotta go, guys. I'm going to Pizza Hut! Hi, my name is Jack, and I'm gonna be your waiter today. Are you guys ready to order? Yes, I'd like to get a large pineapple pizza, please. But, Mom, I don't Pineapples. I know, honey. You can get something on the kids' menu. Oh, and I forgot to mention, on Tuesdays, which is today, kids under the age of 10 eat free. Well, good thing you're 9, right, Luke? I'm not 9. I'm 12. <laughs> daddy, daddy, daddy! I got 100% in school today! That's amazing, son. I'm so proud of you. Why don't you come into the living room and tell me about it? Wow, I got 20% in science, 30% in math, and 50% in English. <laughs> Here's how fans found Marshmallow's real identity. In this picture on Instagram, you can see a red tattoo through the hole in his jeans. The DJ Chris Comstock also has a red tattoo on his leg. During this interview with Skrillex, someone named Chris phoned him and he said it was Marshmallow. And, uh, who's that right now? It's Chris. Oh, Marshmallow. Finally, the DJ Feed Me posted a picture of him wearing Marshmallow's mask on his Instagram story. And if you look in the mirror, you can see Chris Comstock taking a picture with the rest of the outfit. It was later deleted, but fans noticed this and took screenshots. Mom, my friends are here to pick me up. I'll see you later. Wait, before you leave, I'd like you to do your chores first. I did them. You did the kitty litter? Yep. Well, I want you to sweep the floor too. I already did. What about the- I already did the dusting. Then can you- I did the dishes too. I don't believe you. Then go check. I think I will. <sighs> can you please be quick? My friends have already been waiting for like an hour. Hey, don't talk to me like that or else you won't be going anywhere. Okay, I'm sorry. <sighs> Why are the floors so wet? Wait a second. He mopped the floors too? I know. What about the kitty litter? 
You even put in fresh kitty litter? Oh, I know. I bet he didn't do his laundry. I want you to throw in your laundry before you go. Why? I have lots of clean clothes. Do you want to leave the house or not? Fine. How did you get that bruise on your arm? Oh, I ate some Halloween candy. But eating Halloween candy won't give you a bruise. It will if it's your big brother's candy. <laughs> Here's what would happen if the Queen murdered someone. Whenever someone goes on trial in the UK, it's that person versus the Crown. Which means it's the Queen versus you. But the Queen can't prosecute herself, so she could technically get away with murder. Now before I tell you the craziest part, I found this app that lets you prank your friends and family by changing their text messages. Just press this button on my profile if you want to try it too. Legally, no arrest can be made in the Queen's presence without her approving it. So if anyone tried to arrest her, she could just say no. Come on! Yeah! My shoulder hurts so much. Oh, I know. Let me just switch it up. What does it mean when my shoulder hurts? Okay. What? No, 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 no. This can't be true. What if I search what does it mean when you lift your arm and your shoulder hurts? Okay. No, 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 no. Please, please, please. What if I try another website? What's the matter? What do you want? Um, I, I, I need to go to the hospital right now! Okay, go get in the car. So, what brings you in today, young man? My shoulder really hurts when I lift up my arm. Hmm, by any chance do you lift weights? Of course, can't you see how swole I am? Of course I can. Well, it sounds to me like you just have a pulled muscle. Phew, ouch! Oh, it's getting late. I should probably go home before my parents beat me up. Ah! why don't you ask your parents if you could stay overnight? Oh yeah, that's, that's a good idea. I'll go call my mom right now. Hello? Hey mom, no one wants me to stay overnight. Oh, okay, that's fine with me, as long as his parents are okay with it. No, but I don't want to stay overnight, I want to come home. Oh, okay then. So can you send me a text message saying to come home or something? Yeah, yeah, I can do that. Okay, thank you so much. Noah, I was just about to call my mom, but then she sent me a text saying, it's getting dark, can you please come home now? <sighs> Are you serious? Well, maybe if you tell her you're staying overnight, she'll be okay with it. I don't know, man. She sounds kind of mad. I wish I could stay, but I think I better go home. Dang it. Well, I'll see you later, I guess. Yeah, see ya. Just wait here. I have to go to the bathroom. I'll be right back, okay? Okay. <gasps> Bro, you should have seen the sick Fortnite dub I got last night. Hey, babe? Yeah, he clutched us so hard. Really? Yeah, bro, you down for some duos tonight? Yeah, of course, bro. I haven't had a dub in a minute. Awesome, I'll slide in the DMs later tonight. Yeah, bro, just hit me up. Now we're gonna go over some questions related to the book we just read. So the first question- So who do you like again? I have a big crush on Molly. Can anyone tell me why the teacher in the book was wearing sunglasses to school? Because she had bright students. <laughs> because she had bright students. <laughs> oh, Jesse, you're quite the kid. Bing bong! Oh, I guess that's all the time we have for today's class. I'll see you guys tomorrow. What does it say? We should go out sometime. You're so funny. Here's my number. Hey, hey, Luke! Here's the only way to survive if you're buried alive. First you need to stay calm and slow down your breathing to preserve oxygen. Then lift your shirt up and tie it in a knot to protect yourself from dirt. Now with something hard like a belt buckle, a ring or a rock, you need to break the coffin. Now use your hands to push the dirt to your feet so you can sit up then climb out. How was school today, Luke? It was so boring. I just hate it. Breaking news. Turn up, turn up, turn up! Okay, jeez. Tonight we're expecting 45 to 50 centimeters of snow, so avoid traveling if you can. 50 centimeters? I hope it's a snow day tomorrow. Dad, what are the chances that it'll be a snow day tomorrow? I don't know. You've asked me a hundred times today and it's getting really annoying, so just go to bed. Okay, jeez. I swear, if it's not a snow day tomorrow, I don't even know what will happen. Uh-oh. It's the moment of truth. Come on, my heart's beating so fast. Please, please. Yes! <laughs> are you guys ready to play Fortnite all day? Good morning, class. How is everyone today? Good.
The other day, my dad started ripping our carpet apart to put in some new flooring. Nothing ever goes as planned and his back and knees were starting to hurt so he was getting annoyed. But slowly, with the help of me of course, we got it done. I wanted to surprise my dad so I got these Gobi light strips to put on the back of our TV. There's a bunch of different scenes you could choose from and with the included camera, the colors can change to whatever is showing on the TV. My dad decided to put the colors to his favorite basketball team. Yeah! <laughs> and as you could tell, he really likes them. Do you think you're smart? Yeah, I'd say so. Oh yeah? Spell it. S M A R T. I said spell it. Can I get you anything to drink? Um, what are my options? Yes or no? Can I go down the water slide yet? Is that a yes or a no? Okay, I'm going. Hey, don't go until I tell you to. Hi, Susan, how are you? Oh, I'm good, how are you? Come on in. <gasps> I think my mom is here. Quick, go and hide so you don't have to go home. It's really cold outside today, isn't it? Tell me about it. My hands almost fell off when I was walking to the car. Oh, hey, Neb, how's it going? Good. That's good. How did Luke treat you today? Oh, he just wouldn't stop yelling. No, I'm only joking. <laughs> She'll never find me in here. Well, we should probably get going, because I have ham in the oven. Where is Luke, anyway? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, Luke, where are you? <laughs> if you come out now, I'll buy you Pokemon cards. <gasps> really? Nope. Five things the queen has never been able to do. The queen isn't allowed to grow long nails. She also has to keep her hair neat, and if she wants to wear makeup, it must look natural. The queen isn't allowed in public without a bodyguard. Each member of the family has up to five highly trained armed officers while they're out in public. The queen can't choose who she wants to speak with at formal dinners. The rule is she must begin speaking with the person on her right, then switch to the person on her left. The queen has never been allowed to sign her autograph. The whole royal family has been banned from signing autographs for fans in case their signature gets forged later on. And finally, one of the most strict rules is how she's allowed to sit. In particular, she isn't allowed to cross her legs. The queen must keep her knees together while tilting her legs to the sides. There's a guy on me! Help! What's with all the ruckus down here? This game is making me mad. Well, it's just a video game and it's really annoying, so quit it. Get off the ice! Who was player on this team? How are you even on this team? You can't even skate, what? You're not gonna pass it then. Shoot the puck! Shoot the puck! Shoot the puck! No! Why would you pass it to him? Just shoot it in the net! What the heck are you doing? Oh my gosh, I can't even watch this game anymore! Quit it. You're being so annoying. Parents be like, go to your... Parents be like, go to your chores or I'm taking your phone. No. Parents be like, go to your chores or I'm taking your phone. No. Parents be like, go to your chores or I'm taking your phone. Then do it. Okay then. Hey, I was just joking. <laughs> but when you're running, try to hold the phone like this so no. it looks like. You behind me and me? Like so it, you, they could see you. Okay. okay. Parents be like, go to your chores. No. <clears throat> Too fast. Parents be like, go to your chores or I'm taking your phone. Then do it. Okay then. Hey, I was just joking! Try this sound just a bit more aggressive. Okay, well, yeah, first of all, it wasn't too. Yeah. Like, hold on. Okay, then. Okay, but a bit slower. But same, do, try one more time. Same tempo, but or a bit slower. Same volume. Why can't I go to my friend's house? Because I said so. But all my friends are gonna be there. If they jumped off a cliff, would you do it too? Of course not. That's completely different. This isn't fair. Wait until you get into the real world. Oh, shut up. Did you just say what I thought you said? If you heard me say it, then why are you asking? Secret messages hidden in popular logos. In the FedEx logo, there's an arrow in between the E and the X. It stands for moving forward, speed, and precision. In the Amazon logo, there's an orange arrow that goes from A to Z. And this means they have you covered for every letter in the alphabet. In the Tostitos logo, the two lowercase T's represent people holding a chip. And the I is a table holding a bowl of salsa. In the Hershey's Kisses logo, the space in between the K and the I is shaped as one of their chocolates. In the Pringles logo, the dot on the I is actually a chip. The B in this logo doesn't just represent beats, but also someone wearing a pair of headphones. Five emojis that you've been using wrong, part two. You may have seen this in comic books before where it means BAM. But when texting, it means the person you're talking to has lost their temper or is out of control. Apart from meaning BAM, the X emoji also symbolizes a kiss. This emoji is a Japanese ogre named Namahage, which drives away evil spirits. This emoji represents the mask of Tengu, which is a demon from the Japanese mythology. It's used to tell the person you're texting with that they're being arrogant. This emoji means no good. In Asian countries, it's often shortened to these two letters. 
Here's what to do if you drop your phone in the toilet. First, get your phone out as soon as possible and dry the outside with something like a towel. Then power off your phone completely so you avoid short circuiting it. Now if you have an iPhone, take out the SD card on the side, but if you have a phone that lets you remove the battery, do that to allow more airflow so it could dry better. If you can, use a vacuum to suck out the water, but if not, tilt your phone side to side to allow the water to drop out. You may be thinking, Luke, what about putting it in rice? Well, studies showed that the best and quickest way to dry your phone is to let it air dry with good air circulation. Lock it, 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 lock it. He should be sleeping. Are you making a TikTok? Please don't tell mommy. Answer my question. Are you making a TikTok? Yeah. Can I be in it? So how do you want your haircut today? Can I just get a bit off the top? Say no more. Alright, take a look. <laughs> Secret messages hidden in popular logos. Hyundai. Lots of people think the logo is just the first letter of the company, but it also symbolizes a client and a representative of the company shaking hands. Adidas. The logo has three stripes that form a triangle. This symbolizes a mountain which represents the challenges all athletes have to overcome day after day. Toyota. The logo is actually a needle with a thread passing through it to represent their past, because they used to make weaving machines. However, the individual parts of the logo also spell out the company's name. Honey, can you get me an iPhone for my birthday? But what about the other one? The other one's already getting me an iPad. <gasps> when I look into your eyes, I see something beautiful. Really? What is it? My reflection. <gasps> Why aren't you picking up the phone? I always pick it up on the third ring. It makes me seem cooler. Pick it up! Fine. 911, what's your emergency? Here's the only way to survive a crocodile attack. Crocodiles have the strongest jaws on the planet and they kill around a thousand people every year. If you see a crocodile while you're in the water, you need to stay calm and slowly swim away. If it's still chasing you when you get out of the water, you need to scream and run in zigzags. This will confuse the crocodile and it will eventually leave you alone. Now before I tell you what to do if it already has you in its jaw, I found this app that lets you prank your friends and family by changing their text messages. If you want to try it too, just press this button on my profile. Now if it already has you in its jaw, you need to punch the eyes. This will stun the crocodile and it'll let you go. Here's what cartoon characters would look like in real life. Daffy Duck from Looney Tunes. Daisy from Looney Tunes. Speedy Gonzales from Looney Tunes. Tiger from Winnie the Pooh. Chase from Paw Patrol. Bing Bong from Inside Out. Bruni from Frozen 2. Sandy from Spongebob. Judy Hopps from Zootopia. Flounder from The Little Mermaid. Harry the Platypus from Phineas and Ferb. And the Cat from Alice in Wonderland. Here's what to do if someone's following you on the street. First, start to walk faster, then make four right turns in a row. You'll now be in the same spot you started off, and if they're still behind you, then that confirms that they're actually following you. Whatever you do, don't go home, because then they will know where you live. If someone's walking towards you, start talking to them like they're your friend. Tell them someone's following you and ask if they could walk with you to a more public street until you find another way home. Before I tell you what to do if there's no one on the street to help you, I found this app that tells you your celebrity lookalike. Just press this button on my profile to try it and comment who you get. Remove your jacket and put your hair down so it's harder for them to grab you. Then pretend you forgot something by patting your pockets and say, Oh, I forgot my wallet. After you say that, start walking faster in the opposite direction to a busy street. They won't follow you into a busy street and probably won't run after someone who doesn't have their wallet. These secret codes unlock hidden iPhone features. This number makes it so when people call you, it sends them straight to voicemail, and to turn it off, you just type it again. Typing in this makes it so when you phone people, your number won't show up. When you put this followed by somebody's number, your number won't show up only for that one call. Type this in to activate call waiting, which turns this on for when someone calls you when you're already on the phone. To deactivate it, type this. Putting in this lets you check how many missed calls you have, this lets you check the balance of your phone bill, and this tells you how many available minutes you have left. Can I have a cigarette? I thought you quit smoking. I'm in the process of quitting. Right now I'm in the middle of phase one. What's phase one? I've quit buying. Hey, what's wrong? I'm sick of your comments about my weight. I'm leaving you. But what about our child? What child? So you're not pregnant? <laughs> oh my gosh, Rebecca, it's been such a long time. Come on in. Oh no, I don't want to take up too much of your time. I just came to drop this off. Oh, please, come on in. I'll get you something to drink. Would you like coffee or tea? Well, if you insist, I'll have coffee, please. No, 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 no. <laughs> 
Luke, can you go get us some coffee, please? Ha ha ha! Yeah, of course. It would be my pleasure. <laughs> Time for school already. <laughs> Did you know you're the only one I've ever been with? No. Really? Yeah, all the others were 9s or 10s. I'm way better at Fortnite than you. Who? I am. Ow. Ow. Ten mind-blowing examples of the Mandela Effect. The Monopoly Man never had a monocule on his eye. The Monkey Curious George never had a tail. The end of Pikachu's tail was never black. Jiffy's peanut butter was never a thing, it's just Jif. One of C-3PO's legs is actually silver. Double Stuff Oreo cookies are spelled with one F. The word fruit in Fruit Loops was never spelled with two O's. The Flintstones is actually spelled with two T's. The Bernstein Bears is actually the Bernstein Bears. And finally, there's never been a hyphen in between the word Kit Kat. To who do you owe your success as a millionaire? I owe everything to my girlfriend. Wow, she must be a great girl. What were you before she came into your life? A billionaire. I love you. I have a boyfriend. I love you. I just need some time alone. I love you. I have a boyfriend. Secret messages hidden in popular logos. In Baskin Robbins, the B and the R also have the number 31 to represent how many flavors they have. In the Tour de France logo, the O, U, and the R are shaped as someone riding a bike. The bottom of the Levi's logo is the same shape as the pockets on their jeans. The coat of arms of Burnt, which is where Toblerone chocolate is made, has a bear on it. And so does the logo. The tire company Continental has the C and the O shaped as a tire. Now before I tell you the craziest one, I found this app that tells you your celebrity lookalike. Just press this button on my profile if you want to try it too. The reason the Apple logo has a bite in it is so people wouldn't mistake it as a cherry. Dad, someone at school keeps calling me fat. Aw oh, son, don't listen to them. You're bigger than that. <laughs> Bro, this class is so easy. I'm gonna do all my homework and get a good grade this year. Dude, I was thinking the exact same thing. Alright class, for homework I want you to do pages 35 to 52 in the textbook. <laughs> Forget that. Here's why bees can only sting once. When a bee sticks a stinger into your skin, it releases venom which causes pain and can affect your immune system and skin cells. Bees won't sting unless they feel threatened, but after stinging you, they can't pull their stinger out of your skin so they have to leave it behind. The stinger contains some of the bee's digestive system, nerves, and muscles which are essential for the bee to live, so they end up not surviving. Alright, has everyone copied this down? No, not yet. Yes. Okay. Everyone get on the line! I'm gonna make teams for the next game! Go down the line so we're on the same team! Good idea! One... Two... One... Two... One... Yes! Two... One... Two... <gasps> Can we switch spots? Whatever... Two. One... Two... Two... What?! One... Alright, can I get the ones over there and the twos over here? A few days ago I posted this TikTok and got a lot of comments about my teeth. You need to brush your teeth. Your teeth are so yellow. You need to go to the dentist. And before I posted that TikTok, just by watching it, I knew I was going to get comments like that. Because I know my teeth are yellow, but I brush my teeth twice a day. I've never had any cavities. And last time I went to the dentist, I asked her about them. And she said they're just naturally that color. And if I wanted, I could try Crest 3D whitening strips, which is what I'm going to do. And if those don't work, then I could go in for their special treatment. So what brings you into the doctor's office today? My back always hurts when I wake up in the morning. Then just wake up in the afternoon. <gasps> Why did you get such a low mark on your exam? Absent. You were absent the day of your exam? No, but the boy who sits next to me was. <gasps> Start writing this in your notes. Can I go to the bathroom? I don't know. Can you? So what did you need help with? I'm not going to teach you this because you'll learn it next year. I'm going to skip this because you guys should remember it from last year. Come on, come on. Yeah, let's go! <gasps> Did they score? No, I'm just cheering for no reason. Oh, <gasps> is that blood? No, it's ketchup. Did you find the golf club you wanted? Yeah, and I also got some golf balls. Nice, did you get the golf balls from the same place? No, I got them from Walmart. Hey teacher, what are we doing today? We're going to watch a movie. Really? What? But make sure you take notes, because there's going to be an assignment after. 
Jobs you didn't know existed. Ben Lashes is an internet famous cat manager. He manages famous cats like Grumpy Cat, Keyboard Cat, and Nyan Cat. He takes 20% of their earnings. So for an example, when Grumpy Cat made an estimated $1 million in her first year, he would have made $200,000 for just one client. Water slide testers travel from North America to places like Egypt to go to water parks and test their slides. They rate them based on the biggest splash and the adrenaline factor, then post their opinions online. Their yearly salary is $34,000. The China Giant Panda Protection and Research Center posts posted a job online called the Panda Nanny. You have to spend 365 days a year with a panda, but you get free meals and an SUV on top of the $32,000 salary. The only requirements are that you have to be 22 years or older and have basic knowledge of pandas. I'd like a margarita, please. Okay, I'll need to see your ID. <laughs> you think I look like a teenager? No, I thought you might qualify for our senior discount. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? You can take whatever you want. I had a bad day. Okay, thanks. Wait, why are you letting me take things? So I have time to call the police. <laughs> Here's the only way to survive a falling elevator. Most people think you should jump right before you hit the ground. However, it'll be difficult to jump when you're falling. And secondly, if you're falling at a speed of 50 miles per hour and you jump 5 miles per hour into the air, you'll still hit the ground going 45 miles per hour. Now before I tell you what you should do, I found this app that lets you FaceTime with your favorite celebrities. Press this button on my profile if you want to try it too. Now instead of jumping, you should lie flat on your back because this way the impact is spread equally through your whole body. But just remember, with today's modern safety features, your chances of dying are 1 in 10 million. birthday on? March 1st. Okay. So what day is your birthday? <laughs> Here's five everyday things that you didn't know the purpose of. Number one, the hole in pot handles. Most people use it to hang pots and pans, but it can also be used to hold spoons when you're cooking so you don't make a mess. Number two, the groove on the bottom of mugs. The grooves are designed so when you place it upside down in the dishwasher, it allows water to flow out rather than spill all over your feet when you take it out. Number three, the hole in pen caps. The hole is there to allow airflow so if someone swallows it, they won't choke. Number four, pom-poms on beanies. This style was made for French sailors so they wouldn't hit their head on the ceilings of ships that were low. Number five, the tiny buttons on jeans. These tiny buttons are called rivets and are placed in spots that are most likely to fall apart. Do you know the difference between right and wrong? Yes, I do. All right, if I reached into a man's pocket and took his wallet with all his money, what would I be? You'd be his wife. <laughs> Actors that can't stand their movies. Daniel Radcliffe in Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. The actor grew up on movie sets because of the eight Harry Potters through ten years. But he said he hates the sixth movie because his acting was awful. George Clooney in Batman and Robin. In 1997, Batman and Robin was so unsuccessful that no one made another Batman movie for eight years. George Clooney decided to apologize to people who watched it and also Adam West who played Batman in the 60s. Alec Guinness in Star Wars. He once called Star Wars fairy tale rubbish. He didn't consider Obi-Wan's role to be a serious work and the dialogue of the character irritated him. Do it again. What time is it? Do it again. All right. Ouch. Do it again. Ow. So what's your name? Not guilty. You're not guilty? Thank you very much. <gasps> so why did the police arrest you? For shopping too early. How early were you shopping? Before the store opened. <gasps> Here's three survival tips that could one day save your life. Starting a fire with almost no resources. All you need is batteries and foil, like a bubblegum wrapper. Just put the foil at the end of the batteries and it will start to heat up and burn. And once you get a flame, you can use things like Doritos to have a mini fire. Sending an emergency signal. Now that you know how to make a fire, you need a lot of smoke. To produce that, you could use fresh pine and spruce leaves, wet leaves from any other trees, or rubber materials. Another way to send a signal is by using something reflective, like a mirror, CD, metal, and even jewelry. Emergency number. A really handy thing to know is that most cell phones will dial your local emergency number even if you have no sim card and no service hey taxi how much will it cost for you to drive me to the super 8 just ten dollars and how much for my bag oh you don't have to pay for the bags okay take my bag and i'll meet you there <laughs> i like your dress really yeah and your lipstick looks amazing thank you your makeup also looks really good oh thanks but you're still ugly <laughs> your son. I don't even have a son. Oh yeah? Then who just asked me for warm milk and made me cut the crust off his sandwich? Oh no! You have my husband! <laughs> Here's the only way to survive a grenade blast. 
The first thing you want to do is turn the other direction and get at least 15 feet away. Then lay on your stomach with the bottom of your feet pointing at the grenade. This will reduce your chances of getting hit by the fragments. But if you do get hit, it will be the bottom of your shoes instead of your skin. Now before I tell you what to do if there's a grenade in the water with you, I found this app that tells you your celebrity lookalike, and apparently I look like Marilyn Monroe. If you want to find out who you look like, just press this button on my profile. Now if there's a grenade in the water with you, don't swim deeper, get out. Swimming deeper will cause the blast of the grenade to compress your lungs and cause serious damage. Here's five dollars, go in and get a loaf of bread. Fine. Can I get this loaf of bread, please? The total will be 515. Did, did, did you say 515? Yup, that's correct. <laughs> Mommy! Do you understand what you're supposed to be doing? Yup. Oh, good. Psst. What? What are we supposed to be doing? I don't know. Everyday habits that are bad for you. Using your phone before going to bed. Artificial light at night reduces the production of melatonin, which is what helps you fall asleep. Stopping yourself from sneezing. When you try to prevent yourself from sneezing, pressure in your brain increases significantly. The blood flow in your brain is disrupted and your blood vessels and nervous tissues are compressed, which can lead to headaches, damaged vessels, and hearing problems. Leaving food in plastic containers. Lots of plastic containers have artificial chemicals which help them maintain their flexibility. If kept in there for a long time, those substances can get into your food and affect your organs. Did you know Microsoft just bought Skype for over 10 million dollars? Really? They're idiots! Why do you say that? Because they could have downloaded it for free. <laughs> he made two fat jokes about me yesterday. Pfft, that's a lie. Then why would she remember you making them? Because elephants never forget. <laughs> Hello? Yeah, I'll send him down. Luke? Your mom's here to pick you up for your dentist appointment. Luke! Yeah? Yeah? <laughs> oh, so you've been on your phone the whole time, huh? What? No! Hey, I'd like you to do the dishes. Crazy laws that only exist in North Korea. In 2013, North Korea's leader made a law that there would only be 28 hairstyles allowed. 18 for the woman and 10 for the men. But the most unfair part is that the leader's haircut isn't even on the list. You can't watch your favorite shows on TV. They have three channels to choose from that are controlled by the government. The only people who are allowed to own cars are state officials. It's estimated that 1 to 10 in 1,000 people can own one. You can't make an international call. In 2007, a man was shot in a stadium because he made a call outside of North Korea. If you live in North Korea, you're forced to stay there for the rest of your life. Finally, if you thought the last one was crazy, you're not allowed to have your own opinions that go against the leader's rules. You'll be sent away to an educational camp where they'll threaten and torture you until you learn to not have your own opinion. Here's the only way to survive a zombie apocalypse. The first thing you want to do is get as far away from cities as possible. Because even though it'll have lots of food and supplies, soon enough you'd be surrounded by thousands of zombies. From what the movies have showed us, zombies are terrible swimmers, so getting on a boat will probably be the safest way to get away from zombies. But if there's no water nearby, then you'll want to run to the hills. Because zombies will have a hard time getting up there, and once you're there, find a building made out of concrete, brick, or metal. Because anything weaker like wood can easily be torn down by a horde of zombies. But you won't be able to stay there forever because you'll need food. So make a suit out of anything you could find, like hockey pads, gloves, and a helmet. Once you're there, you'll want to gather enough food and water to last you for a few weeks. But now, when you go to leave the supermarket, there's tons of zombies waiting for you outside. And before I tell you what to do next, I found this super fun zombie apocalypse game called State of Survival. They're even giving away a brand new Lamborghini, and all you have to do to enter is reach level 5. Just press the button on my profile to get it. Finally, in order to leave the supermarket, you either need to hide until they all leave or make a distraction. But if both of those fail, you'll have to camouflage yourself in with them. So you'll have to get some zombie flush your guts, then rub it all over you to make you smell like them. Then they'll let you walk right past them. This man has the longest nails in the world. Sridhar Shalal stopped cutting the nails on his left hand in 1952 when he was just 14 years old. His longest nail was on his thumb, measuring 197.8 centimeters long. In 2014, he got a Guinness World Record for having the longest nails in history on a single hand, with a total length of 909.6 centimeters. Having such long nails has been rewarding for him because of all the recognition he gets, but it's also brought him a lot of negative consequences because of the weight and length of the nails. For example, he has a permanent disability of his left hand, and a lot of pain in his fingers, Wrist, elbow, and shoulder. But in July 2018, after 66 years without cutting his nails, he decided it was time to do it. They couldn't cut them with traditional nail clippers, so they had to use power tools. Now his nails are displayed in two different locations. Three of them are at Ripley's Believe It or Not in New York, and the other two are at Ripley's Believe It or Not in Amsterdam.
success as a millionaire? And what were you before she came into your life? I owe everything to my girlfriend. A billionaire. This six-year-old boy became the youngest soldier in World War II. Sergei Alashkov, a six-year-old boy, was orphaned during World War II after German troops arrived and killed everyone in his village, including his mother and brother. Sergei managed to escape with the help of a neighbor and quickly ran into the forest. After a few days, he was found by Soviet scouts who took him to a shelter led by Major Kozelsky. Kozelsky decided to leave him with the battle troops, and he was soon adopted by Mikhail Vorobyov, who didn't want to send him to an orphanage. Sergei didn't take part in combat operations. Instead, he had tasks like delivering letters and newspapers. He also brought the soldiers whatever they needed, including water, ammo, and grenades. But one of the times he went to deliver the newspaper, he saw suspicious people in a haystack and informed the artillery commander. The people turned out to be German spies who were then neutralized. After the war, Vorobyov raised Sergei, who later got married, had two children, and passed away in 1990. The happiest prisoner on death row. Joe Arity was born in 1915 in Colorado. He eventually entered the state training and home school for the mentally handicapped at the age of 10. At the age of 21, he left school and boarded a freight car and ended up in Wyoming. At the same time, the police were on the lookout for a person guilty of murder and attempted murder on the two sisters, Dorothy and Barbara Drain. While Joe was wandering around, he was stopped by the sheriff, George Carroll, who thought he was a suspect in the crime. After questioning him, the sheriff said he confessed to the crimes and was arrested. Then Frank Aguilar, who worked for the Drain family, confessed to the crime. Barbara, who was the survivor of the attack confirmed that it was Frank and said that she had never seen Joe. Joe's lawyer tried to obtain a plea of insanity because three psychiatrists said that he had an IQ of 46 and the mind of a six-year-old. Despite this, Joe was wrongfully sentenced to death and everyone who saw him in jail said that he kept smiling. On the day of his execution, he still couldn't understand what was going on and still had a smile on his face as he entered the gas chamber. Five times actors were in acting. In this scene of Stranger Things when Eleven was fighting possessed Billy, she was so exhausted from filming that she broke character and fell back into Michael's arms. You can even see him look at the producers because he wasn't expecting it. In this episode of Riverdale when Archie rescued Cheryl from the lake, even though he was punching a mat on the ice, he actually broke his hand from hitting so hard. In the movie Bird Box, the actor Sandra Bullock was blindfolded the whole time and she actually couldn't see. So in scenes when she was stumbling around, it was actually real and not acting. In the movie Maleficent, they couldn't find any kids that weren't scared of her, so they ended up using her own child. Her daughter wasn't acting, she was just trying to get her mom's attention. In this episode of Friends, David Schwimmer pranked Jennifer Aniston by pretending to fall down the stairs. She didn't know this was happening, so she actually got scared. How a prisoner invented Lamborghini. Ferruccio Lamborghini was a farmer, but he was more interested in the machinery like tractors. In 1940, he was drafted into the Italian Royal Air Force where he served as a mechanic. He was later taken as a prisoner by the British at the end of war in 1945. He worked as their mechanic and they let him go after a year. After the war in his spare time, he started making tractors and named them Lamborghinis. It ended up being one of the largest manufacturers of its kind in Italy. With his success, he started collecting cars. He was disappointed with his Ferrari 250 GT because the clutch kept breaking. When he brought it to a mechanic, he found out that the car used the same clutch he uses in some of his tractors. He was mad because he pays 10 euros for a tractor's clutch and a thousand euros for the car's clutch. He decided to tell the founder Enzo Ferrari about the problems. But he said the problem wasn't with the car, it was with him because he's a farmer and a tractor driver, not a car manufacturer. After that, Ferruccio was determined, so he hired three ex-employees from Ferrari. And nine months later, his first sports car came out, which was the Lamborghini 350 GT. It proved to everyone that he wasn't just a tractor manufacturer. His employees started working on a secret project car called the Miura P400, which Ferruccio didn't know about. When he found out about it, he decided not to scrap the idea, which ended up being one of his best decisions ever. It was the world's first sports car to be made with a rear mid-engine, and the rear mid-engine became standard on all high-performance cars.
Here's five world records you didn't know existed. The most toothpicks in a beard. It took Joel three hours and 13 minutes to put 3,500 toothpicks in his beard. The longest hair on a teenager, which is five feet and seven inches. The longest hula hoop spun, which is just over 17 feet in diameter. The tallest hat, which is 15 feet and nine inches. And finally, the largest table tennis bat, which is over 11 feet tall and six feet long. Here's the three most dangerous kid toys. In the 1990s, Rollerblade Barbie was released. Each Rollerblade used the same wheel mechanism they use in cigarette lighters. So when the Barbie was rolled, it would shoot out sparks. In 1996, the Cabbage Patch Snack Time Kid was released. It ate plastic foods that came with it and exited through a hole in the backpack. But the toy couldn't tell whether it was plastic, your finger, or your hair. And one girl's hair was ripped down to her scalp. Finally, in the 1990s, Nickelodeon released Moon Shoes, which you would strap onto your feet and the springs would help you jump higher. However, they weren't very safe and lots of people sprained and broke their ankles. This five-year-old girl disappeared every night until her father followed her to this house. It took four days for Tom, who's Annie's father, to realize that she wasn't in her room or in the backyard where she always played. When the girl finally showed up, he asked where she was, but she didn't say a word. On the fifth day, Tom decides to follow her without her noticing, but he loses sight of her. On the sixth day, he tries again and this time manages to follow her to her grandparents' abandoned house. He stayed hidden while he watched his daughter greet a female stranger. He then waits for his daughter to leave, then walks up to the stranger and questions her. She was an 80-year-old lady named Linda who ran away from her nursing home because she didn't want to live there. So she wandered the streets with dogs that she adopted until she met the girl who provided her with shelter and met her every day at the same time to give her food. Eventually, Annie's parents gave the house to Linda and later with the help of donations turned it into an animal shelter. Here's things that are bigger than you thought. Here's how big a traffic light is compared to a human. Here's a polar bear's paw compared to a human hand. Traffic signs are actually really big. Here's a regular sized moose compared to vehicles. Here's how big the Titanic is compared to a modern cruise ship. Here's how big a tornado is compared to a wind turbine. And here's how big the blade of a wind turbine is compared to a human. Hey mom, since it's Friday, can you get pizza before you come home? Yeah, I guess. Oh, and can I go to my friend's house later? That's fine with me, just ask your father. <sighs> can you ask him? Fine. Hey dad, can I ask you a question? What? Where's mom? Why is there a two year gap on your resume? Oh, I was in jail. Really, for what? For killing the last interviewer who said he'd call me back. Congratulations, you're hired. The power of time. This is what the barber's floor looks like after walking around the chair every day. This guy had his wallet for so long that his driver license photo imprinted on the plastic. Here's a comparison of the right-handed people and the left-handed people at a school. Here's what 14 years of this cat scratching looks like. This guy's shoe shows the bones in his feet from moving around weight with his foot. The glass globe of this light focused the sunlight enough to burn the sun's path in the grass. The paint on this vehicle wore out because it's the dog's favorite spot. Now before I show you the craziest one, I found this app that lets you remove anything from your photos. Just press the button on my profile to get it. This wall broke, exposing years of layers of paint. Secrets hidden in national monuments. The Lincoln Memorial was unveiled on May 30th, 1922. It was created to honor the memory of the 16th President of the United States, Abraham Lincoln. This monument hides two secrets. The first is a spelling error that can be seen in the inscriptions on the north wall. If you look closely at the word future, you can see a smudge on the letter F because the sculptor accidentally put an E instead of an F. The second is that underneath there's a huge basement full of stalagmites and graffiti from 1914. The Washington Monument is a popular place for tourists who go to see the capital of the United States. But something that not a lot of people know is that there's a small replica close to the real one. While the real monument measures 169 meters, the replica is only 3.6 meters. The name of the replica is Benchmark A and was created to be a geodetic control point for surveyors to ensure that maps are as accurate as possible. If you see a coin in your car door handle, run and call the police. Thieves have found a sneaky new way to steal vehicles. They put a coin in your car door handle just like this, and if it's on the passenger side, you probably won't notice it. Then when you go to lock your car, it won't lock properly, leaving it unlocked for thieves. They can then follow you home, go inside it, and steal everything, including the car itself.
Here's how to tell if your phone is being hacked. Your battery starts to drain quickly. This can happen when there's an unknown app running in the background of your phone. Your phone gets warm. When you're not doing anything on your phone and this happens, that could be another sign that there's something running in the background. Your phone reboots itself, turn off, open apps, and dials phone numbers. Unless your phone's really old, this can mean that somebody's tapping into it. You can't turn off your phone. Instead, your phone starts opening apps, turning up the brightness, volume, and so on. And finally, when you hear echoes during calls and locations that it hasn't happened to you in before. How much do the potatoes cost? Two dollars each. And the bag? The bag's free. Okay, give me the bag. <laughs> hey mom, what was that loud noise outside? There's a big storm outside and it's raining really hard. Can you close all the windows? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Three celebrities who gave up fame to work normal jobs. Dylan and Cole Sprouse starred in the show The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. While Cole continued his acting career by going on the show Riverdale, Dylan stopped to open up his own brewery. Peter Ostrom played Charlie Bucket and Willy Wonka. But after that, he refused a three-movie deal. As he got older, he became a veterinarian and specializes in farm animals. Hayden Christen was known for playing Anakin Skywalker in Star Wars. But in 2007, he moved to Canada and bought a farm. With his passion for design, he also started his own clothing company in 2013. That bully stole my girlfriend's number. Really? What are you gonna do about it? Nothing. The idiot's sending romantic messages to his sister. <laughs> I've called you like 10 times. Why haven't you been answering? I can explain. Then explain. I like my ringtone. <laughs> Hey, what are you doing right now? Phoning the most beautiful girl in the world. Aw, that's sweet. Yeah, but she's not answering, so I'm phoning you. <laughs> Our principal's an idiot. Do you know who I am? No. I'm his daughter. Do you know who I am? No. Good. <laughs> the biggest thing you missed in Squid Game, just to warn you, there are spoilers. One of the biggest twists in the show is that the old man was in charge of the games. And there is lots of clues to show this that most people miss. For starters, that's the reason why he was player number one. That's why he was the only old person in the game. That's why he wasn't surprised when people started getting shot in the first game. That's why he knew how to win tug of war. And that's why the neighborhood in the marble game looked like the neighborhood he grew up in. But that's not all. When the robot was scanning people in red light, green light, it didn't pick up the old man as a player. His name translated into English is number one man. This is why he basically convinced player 456 to re-enter the game. And this is why he was the only player to not get gassed when he entered the van to go back to the game. Hey dear, there's a- Stop it. One shall not speak while we're eating. If you say so. Now tell me, what were you saying? Nothing. There's just a cockroach in your burger. <laughs> Why is there a four-year gap on your resume? Oh, that's when I was in Yale. Oh, wow, that's impressive. You're hired. Thank you so much. I really needed this job. <laughs> Give me all your money, otherwise you'll be chemistry. Don't you mean history? Don't change the subject. <laughs> How long is the flight from London to New York? Um, just a minute. Thank you. She said a minute. What? 
5 advertising tricks they don't want you to know. In commercials, they place cardboard in between each pancake to make them look better. And because syrup absorbs quickly, they use engine oil. Ice cream melts quickly under hot studio lights, so instead they use colored mashed potatoes. In commercials for milk, coffee, and beer, they add a liquid soap. It creates a stable foam that looks more appealing. Unlike whipped cream, shaving cream doesn't melt, so they use it on desserts in commercials and movies. Now before I tell you the craziest one, I found this addicting new shooter game. There's tons of weapons to collect, a bunch of different heroes to unlock, and insane boss fights. Just press the button on my profile to get it. Finally, cereal quickly soaks into milk and sinks to the bottom. So they replace the milk with glue so the cereal stays on top and doesn't get soggy. Here's what would happen if Earth lost gravity for 5 seconds. Everything would become weightless and nothing would be held in place. But instead of floating in air like you were in space, you would be like a fast moving tumbleweed. Not just humans but everything including buildings, vehicles, trees and water. This is because the Earth would still be spinning unlike if you were in space. The Earth's atmosphere would also disappear, resulting in a drastic change in air pressure causing everyone's eardrums to rupture. And lastly, without an atmosphere there would be no oxygen on Earth. You won't believe what this man actually did. Nico Jenkins is an American born on September 16th, 1986. At the age of 15, he stole a car and the cops caught him. And he was then sentenced to seven years in prison. But because of his bad behavior, it ended up being 10 and a half years. After being released in 2013, not even a month had gone by before he turned from a thief to a murderer, committing four murders with a shotgun. He confessed to the murders during an interview with the police. He said the reason he executed them was done as a sacrifice to the ancient Egyptian god, Apopis. In April 2014, he was found guilty of the four murders by a judge. He was also also ordered to be put in a psychiatric hospital, but it didn't go through so he was treated by doctors in prison. In May 2017, he was sentenced to death and 450 years in prison by three judges. In 2020, his appeal was denied, and to this day, his death sentence hasn't been carried out. Here's what would happen if you fell off a cruise ship. In 2018, a British lady was on the Norwegian Star cruise ship when she suddenly fell off the back. As soon as the crew found out about this, they started a search and rescue for her. They also called the authorities, who sent water patrol, an aircraft, and two rescue boats to find her. After 10 hours, they managed to find her and quickly took her to the hospital. The chances of survival are slim, but she has several things in her favor. Because she worked as a flight attendant, so she probably knew what to do in this situation. Even though these accidents aren't very common, they have emergency protocols in place. If there's an eyewitness who can report what happened, the crew notifies the captain who usually stops the ship and backs it up. The authorities and the coast guard are then notified while the crew searches for the spot where the person fell off. If you ever fall overboard, it's important to stay calm, try to stay where you fell, don't drink seawater, and keep your clothes on. The answers to three questions about planes you've always wanted to ask. Why don't they have the same seatbelts as cars? For shoulder straps to work, it has to be attached to something sturdy like a car frame. And airplane walls aren't equipped for that. If they were, it would make the plane heavier, making it burn more fuel. Plane seatbelts have lift lever buckles, making it stronger, and so you can't accidentally open it. Why do planes have red and green lights on their wings? The red light is always on the left wing, and the green light is always on the right wing. This way, other pilots in traffic control can tell which way the plane is flying. The two different colors also make it less likely for the plane to be connected confused with something like a drone. Why are the windows round? Rounded corners help distribute stress, reducing the chance of it breaking. Square windows are dangerous because the sharp angles are easy to crack because of air pressure. The coolest houses in the world. The safe house is the only home in the world designed for a zombie apocalypse. When you flip the switch, the mechanical concrete walls and steel doors shut making it impossible to get in. It even has a drawbridge to get to the pool so you don't have to go downstairs. This house has three floors with built-in slides. One side of the house has stairs to get to each floor, but on the other side there's a slide that you could ride all the way down to the first floor. The house also has a built-in ball pit. Finally, there's 130 of these floating houses being built in Dubai. The bedroom is on the lowest floor making it fully underwater. There's huge windows that overlook the coral reef. And on the top floor, there's a bar and hot tub. You ask. No, why can't you ask? Just ask. No, you ask. Fine. Hey, my friend wants to ask you something. Can you give me back my controller tomorrow? Yeah, sure. Okay, but don't forget. I won't forget. So, did you bring it? Bring what? Oh. This is my favorite part of the movie. Spider-Man's about to die. Seriously? Movie mistakes that made the final cut. In Star Wars Return of the Jedi, the Ewoks are bowing down to see 3 po In one clip they show a close-up of an Ewok's face, and if you look closely you could see a missing eye. If you look through the hole you could see the actor's face. During Rey and BB-8's first encounter, she noticed his antenna was bent and decided to help him out. When she took out the antenna to fix it, the top of BB-8 is a metallic grey color. But when she goes to put the antenna back on, his head changes to white. Now before I tell you the craziest one about the Black Panther, I found this app that tells you your celebrity lookalike, and apparently I look like Mary 
Marilyn Monroe. If you want to find out who you look like, just press the button on my profile. In the Black Panther, Shuri designed him an upgraded suit with a special pair of shoes called sneakers. They had this name because they absorbed sound so he could walk around quietly. It allowed the Black Panther to sneak behind his enemies without them hearing him. But later in the movie when he runs and jumps, the sound editors forgot to leave out the footsteps. Easter eggs you didn't notice in Frozen 2. In this scene, Elsa was playing with toys made out of snow. The one she's holding in her hand isn't just any elephant. It's actually Dumbo. And then right here on the ground is Baymax from Big Hero 6. And next to it is the super dog from the movie Bolt. And lastly, next to Anna is the princess Snow White. Photos you're not supposed to see. Did you know big lighters are just made out of small lighters? This is what a bathroom without any stalls looks like. This is what paint looks like before you stir it. Here's what the inside of a pool table looks like. And here's what the inside of a gas pump looks like. Luke, where's your homework? I'm really sorry, I don't have it here. How come? I ate my worksheets. What? Why would you do such a thing? Because my dog refused to. <laughs> Here's the three most dangerous kid toys. The kite tube was made to be pulled behind a boat and then raised up into the air. But when people would get up into the air, they would have no control. And although it looks fun, three adults were killed from falling off. This floaty was made for babies to sit in. However, it was cheaply made and ripped easily, causing babies to fall into the water. The company was fined $650 for knowing about this problem for six years. Slip and slides may not seem dangerous, however, they're only meant for kids. In 1993, there was a warning issued for teens and adults using slip and slides. The slides aren't long enough for their size and weight, so people People were getting hurt from the sudden stop. At the time of the warning, one teenager and seven adults had become paralyzed from neck injuries. Did you get home safe? No, I died a few times. Would you like a bag today? No thanks, I'll just carry the 20 items on my head. Mom, I'm going out. With your friends? No mom, with Dora the Explorer. Who's Dora? Is she your girlfriend? Do you want to go out for supper tonight? Yeah, sure. Okay, be ready in an hour. Are you ready? No, not yet! Photos you're not supposed to see. Here's what the Teletubbies look like without their heads. Here's where the picture on the cliff bar was taken. Here's what a magic eight ball really looks like. Here's what a ramen noodle cup looks like on the inside. And here's how pineapples are grown. Babe, do you think I'm ugly? What? No, why would you say that? Wait, what did I say? Do you think I'm ugly? Yes, I think you're ugly. <laughs> Honey, I started eating turtles the other day. Seriously? Yeah. Why? The doctor told me I shouldn't eat fast food. <laughs> One in a million coincidences. These two trucks lined up and said Taylor Swift. This guy took off the mask and looks more like Mario than Mario does himself. The mountains on the truck lined up perfectly with the mountains in real life. These two ladies were dressed up almost the exact same and they're doing the same thing. This news reporter looks the exact same as the robber that's on the loose. You were today's years old when you found this out. Owl's legs are longer than you thought. When someone tells you to break a leg in an audition, it's because they want you to end up in the cast. When the first episode of a show is called Pilot, it's because it's the first time they're on air. The L in the store staples is a half-open staple. Flames don't have shadows. The blue side of the eraser is meant to clean up smudges made by the pink side. Can I ask one question? But you just did. Fine, can I ask two questions? You already did. Okay, can I ask four questions? You just did, again. When? Now. 
Sneaky ways airports get you to spend more money. The first thing they do is put the parking ticket at a high price. It's cheaper if you park at a nearby hotel or get a ride by a bus or cab. They also ask you to arrive early to avoid missing your flight. So after checking in and going through security, you'll feel relieved and ready to wait for boarding. And you'll also have plenty of free time to shop. Airports take advantage of this by placing lots of stores in your way, like coffee shops, convenience stores, and restaurants. Most commonly, more stores will be on your right, because most people are right-handed and they tend to look that way more often. Finally, you'll find eye-catching and spacious stores to attract your attention, so you can walk right through with your luggage. While restaurants and cafes will have a quiet atmosphere to make you feel more comfortable and spend more money. Would you like a table today? No, I'm gonna eat on the floor. Are you buying all these items today? No, I'm stealing them. I just wanted to show you first. Are you doing your homework? No, I'm writing a letter to Spongebob. Things your parents told you that are actually false. Number one, carrots help you see in the dark. Carrots are full of vitamin A, which helps maintain eyesight, but won't give you night vision. Number two, Fruit Loops have different flavors based on their color, but in reality, all Fruit Loops taste the same. Number three, dropping a penny from the Empire State Building can kill someone that's standing below, but a penny can't get that much speed to do that. Number four, all chocolate is bad for your health, but dark chocolate in small amounts can be beneficial for your health. Number five, oranges are always orange. Some oranges stay green to protect them from the sun. Number six, the humps on camels store water. What they actually do is store fat.